Hey guys and welcome back to another very exciting video. So I often see comments under my videos that hey, I bought this X laptop about Y months ago and now it's overheating and throttling and all that. So my response to that is that it's time you clean up the heat sinks and fans and maybe apply fresh thermal paste. Your laptop will overheat because of either it's dust clogged or the thermal paste has dried up or maybe it's really poor quality thermal paste or that your laptop doesn't have enough vents for proper airflow. The majority of the times is just that a lot of dust has clogged into the spaces in the fins of the heatsink and that your thermal paste has dried up. So in this video I'll show you how to clean your laptop from the inside and the outside and how to apply fresh new thermal paste. So this is my personal laptop the Helios 300 2018. I've been using this for the last two and a half years and I last cleaned the inside in late March 2020 so almost a year ago and I haven't cleaned the outside either for like 3-4 months. So now this laptop throttles immediately in any CPU intensive benchmark just right off the bat 95 degrees centigrade cannot even maintain 3 gigahertz all 4 cores. At the end of the video I'm gonna do a cinemage run to show you the before and after differences in performance and temperature. So watch this video till the end guys this is a relaxing video and after watching this video I hope you'll gain the confidence to do this process on your own on your laptop. It's much easier than it sounds guys and this process is the same for almost all traditional notebooks. So make sure to remove the battery connector first just as a safety precaution. And then you need to remove the two fan connectors. Now just be careful when unplugging the fan connectors, they are quite fragile. So just be careful. Now unscrew the whole heatsink assembly and make sure to keep track of the screws as they can be of different sizes so you know when you put them back in you know where to put which screws. Okay so after removing all the screws very gently try to lift up the heatsink assembly. I mean just take a look at the amount of dust that has clogged into the fans. As you take a look into the back of the heatsink assembly you can see the old dried up thermal paste and just look at this dust that has clogged into the heatsink fins. Just insane. I mean why won't the laptop overheat? It has very little space for the hot air to you know exhaust out. So that's the reason your laptop is overheating. And now here you can see the dried up thermal paste on top of the CPU and the GPU IHS. You can see. You can also see all the VRMs and all. So we have to clean this up. So before that let's start with cleaning the fans. You can see there is a lot of dust inside the fans. So give it a good rub. Blow air into it. If you have a you know a blower or anything you can use that. Same with the other fan as well. A lot of dust. Clean it up really nicely. There you go, now it looks nice. Now time to clean the main dust which is clogging the heatsink. 
so you can just use a brush toothbrush and just brush away all the dust and then you can blow air into it that will just properly clean it up so give it a good rub there you go the fans are all cleaned now now take a look at the back of the heat sink so you have to clean this and dried up thermal paste so I'm just using you know hand sanitizer and q-tip then I'm just using a towel to just wipe it off okay so now it's time to clean up the you know dried thermal paste on top of the IHS and I'm gonna use hand sanitizer and q-tips for it it's quite easy to do So use a q-tip and wet the surface of the IHS using the hand sanitizer and slowly slowly rub, rub off the you know the dry thermal paste. Take your time nothing to hurry about and make sure to just clean the old residue properly. The IHS surface should look like a mirror after you properly clean it up. So, so repeat the process for the GPU as well. Okay, so now it's time to apply new thermal paste. As you can see, the surface is absolutely clean. It is shining like a mirror. So now it's time to apply new thermal paste. Now I see there is a little bit of uh, dust residue left from the fans. I'll just quickly clean it up. Okay, so now it's time to apply a new thermal paste. So I'm going to use the best non-electrically conductive thermal paste that is the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. It cost me about 800 Indian rupees. Now all, all you need to do is put a pea-sized drop on the CPU and the GPU. But as you'll see when I do the process I do a bit too much but don't worry. So as you can see I'm putting the thermal paste so I just put a little bit too much on the GPU as you can see it should be enough but I keep going on so I mess up a little bit On the CPU as well, I put just a little too much, but that's about it. That's 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 quite adequate. Not too bad. Now, yeah, I know I messed up a bit for the GPU, as you can see, as you're about to see. I tried to pick it up a little bit, but instead I just splatter it over the board. But nothing to worry about. Mistakes can happen. 
this is non electrically conductive so it doesn't conduct any electricity so nothing to worry about mistakes to happen i didn't want to cut this part out because it can happen with you also uh, so don't worry just use a q-tip and you know clean up the mess but yeah remember if you are using liquid metal like thermal grizzly conduct or not this will cause serious issues it may fry up your board so be careful this is not the way to apply you know liquid metal okay now just gently put back the heatsink assembly Now uh, putting back the fan connectors once again be careful while operating they are quite fragile Now just screw back the heatsink assembly now just be careful don't apply too much pressure on the screws around the CPU and the GPU they are spring loaded so don't tighten up too much uh, well when you will actually do the process you will understand when to stop just uh, don't put too much pressure on it okay now put back the battery connected in and check all the plugs are connected tightly now everything is put back together correctly now for the moment of truth as we turn on the laptop and yep there you go the laptop boots up just fine nothing to worry about it's always a bit of a nervous moment at this part but as long as you're careful there's nothing to worry about it's not a big deal Okay, so the insides are all cleaned up and nicely. Now, here's a quick time lapse of cleaning the outside of the laptop. I should do it right, it's quite dirty on the outside as well. So, why not just give it a proper cleanup? Uh, now you can see nice and clean feels very satisfying to see this laptop in absolutely pristine condition yep looks nice okay 
Now let's boot it up and give it a good old Cinemesh run. So this is before cleaning the laptop. You can barely see 3 GHz all cores with 95 degree centigrade average package temperatures. And now after cleaning the laptop and repasting it, you can see nearly 3.9 GHz all core and a massive drop in CPU temperatures, almost a 25 degree centigrade drop. And here you can see the final results, a 35% drop in temperatures and a 28% higher performance. This is now actually better than the Core i5 9300H and only a slightly slower than the Core i5 10300H, which is quite amazing. So that's it for this video guys, remember to clean your laptop, it's not about winter or summer, dust is your biggest enemy. So don't be lazy like me and clean your laptop every 6 months or so, especially if you live in a dusty region. Alright, thank you so much for watching guys, please like and subscribe. These videos take a lot of time and effort to make and your support is much appreciated. Alright, thank you so much for watching, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.